Bash scripts tend to be overlooked or handled carelessly because they are air quotes not the application. But often those scripts are deploying clusters to production, they handle secrets and provision servers. You probably want to take good care of them. Shellcheck is a static analysis tool for shell scripts. It has a goofy looking website where you can type in your scripts and link them. There's even a GitHub action to run against your code if you want it. But the better use is really doing it statically. The project is written in Haskell and can be installed in almost any package manager. Let me use Homebrew to get mine. While it's being installed, I want to quickly mention that every tool you see in my terminal can be found in the terminal setup video. If that's of interest, go check it out. So I prepared a really bad script just to see an initial reaction from Shellcheck. It immediately tells me some parts cannot be parsed and they require fixing. Once fixed, Shellcheck will show additional checks. Let me grab a more serious script from a famous GitHub repository with shell script examples to see how Shellcheck handles a real scenario. You can't run shell scripts without giving the proper execution permissions, but now it works. Let's see what Shellcheck thinks of it. It shoots warnings for recommended quotes and even different syntaxing to avoid errors, which is pretty nice. So it's nice to have this kind of helper, but it feels somewhat unintuitive running it outside the editor. Much like when writing Python or Go, I'd like to be able to see those errors in real time. I'm using Mason here in NeoVim, which is a package manager that helps with language server management. All I need to do is find bash ls and have Mason install it. I'll link to Mason down below in the description. Now, with the LSP installed, when I edit the time script, I can see information and suggested fixes pop up near the code. You can see they are marked to the left when this is an info, a warning or an error with respective coloring of the text. I highly recommend taking a peek at the shellcheck repo readme, specifically the gallery of bad code. You can learn a lot about bash best practices and how to avoid common pitfalls. Let's see these mistakes in action and fix them with style in NeoVim. The first issue seems to be a surrounding spaces around the equal sign. Now this changes to a warning saying the variable is actually not used. So let's quickly echo it and notice the autocompletion that helps me do that. So now foo is referenced but not assigned. So I could just delete the dollar sign and that seems all right. It's not used again, so I'll echo it. And next up, it cannot find done the loop is incomplete so I'm just gonna quickly add that and now I get a warning over iterator has a dollar sign in it so I'll just remove that as well the blue comment is one of the more frequent messages from the LSP and it's about not having surrounding quotes for variables here's another strange example for such a wrapping quotes being required here the LSP also detects wrong syntax and corrects you with clear instructions on using spaces rather than commas. This is by the way a perfect use case for Vim's find and replace switch. Another common beginner mistake is trying to print an array without an index. I can't even begin to explain how many hours of my life were lost in this black hole of a bug. This is another source of frustration, trying to print a double digit number. The LSP immediately catches that. Trying to use a boolean as an argument is another mistake and here bash ls helps us fix that. For the rest of this video I'm going to silently show how I fix additional common mistakes from the bad code gallery. Feel free to stick around and watch as NeoVim helps me through. This is a good place to mention two of the most used plugins in the tutorial. One is Vim Surround by Tim Pope. It's used to add surrounding quotes, brackets and basically any sign you want. And the other one is also a Tim Pope plugin, Vim Commentary, and that's what I use to comment and uncomment bits of code. Both plugins and their links are in the description.